Hi, it's Wednesday and time for another devotion from St. Paul Lutheran Church in Westlake, Ohio. And uh, we're reading our way through the Gospel of John this week. And uh, today, especially, we are finding ourselves in John chapter 11 and 12, <laughs> right in the middle of John's Gospel. And actually, chapter 12 brings us right up to uh, Holy Week. And uh, 13 and beyond, uh, the last seven chapters have to do with Holy Week and Easter and uh, the 40 days before Jesus ascended. But we're at uh, chapter 11, especially, I want to talk about today. And uh, Jesus has already performed six miracles that are recorded in John's Gospel. Water into wine, a healing of the officer's son, a healing of the man by the pool of Bethesda, the feeding of the 5,000, walking on water, a blind man healed. You know, those are all wonderful miracles over sickness and disease and, uh, and nature. huh? But then comes in chapter 11, a resurrection miracle. That Jesus even had power over death itself. And uh, it's raising of Lazarus, huh? his good friend that lived in Bethany. And the other thing is, uh, you know, Bethany was just on the outskirts of uh, Jerusalem. So he's right there in the crowds of the temple, and word is out that he has power over life and death itself. Well, that's a big deal for the enemies of Jesus. And I've always called this uh, resurrection that happens in uh, chapter 11, the miracle that they killed him for. Yeah, because it was Caiaphas who after word got out and he was very popular after he healed, brought Lazarus back from the dead. Uh, the crowds were just going crazy. Caiaphas, the high priest, and the other uh, scribes and Pharisees and officers of the Jewish religion said, it's better for this nation if one man dies for all. And it's the miracle that they decided to kill him for. And from that moment on, uh, their intention was only to kill Jesus. Well, I guess, uh, I guess that speaks well of the awesome power of God, our Savior, over sin, death, and the power of the devil, those three great enemies of ours. A sin that would be defeated by the shed blood, you know. Chapter 1, we learned that he was the Lamb of God to take away the sin of the world. Sin, death, you know. He can even bring from the grave life. And of course, he would do that himself on Easter morning. And the power of the devil. Uh, they have no power. The, the forces of evil have no power over Jesus. And I want you to grab that, grab a hold of that today in your life and think about whatever it is that you're facing and realize that this is the one who has power over life and death. This is the one who has promised us, because I live, you shall live forever. This is the one who in chapter 11, you'll read it, will say to Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. Who that Whoever believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And then this great promise. Whosoever lives and believes in me shall never die. I said that to a member of mine in the first congregation I was privileged to serve. I said, uh, Otto, I'm never going to die. And he says, Pastor, that's pretty arrogant. Of course you're going to die. We're all going to die. And, and I said, yeah, my body's going to give out. As a matter of fact, uh, my body's pretty well shot right now. But I'm never going to die. I'll take that last exhale right, from, uh, from earthly breathing and inhale the first breath of heaven because Jesus has power over life and death. Read chapter 11 with great joy today. It's, 1 Corinthians 15 is a great chapter on the resurrection, but I'll tell you what, John chapter 11 is too. And then uh, enjoy chapter 12 as you uh, take Jesus right into Jerusalem for Holy Week. He's got things to do for you and for me. God bless you. Have a good day.